Are you using a smart link with analytics in your bio? Do you have access to these analytics? If you don't, you may be making a big mistake. Welcome to the Free Artist Area YouTube channel. This is our first video ever. It's your boy 701 Max, back to make an impact. Some of you guys might recognize me from TikTok. Some of you guys might be new here. For those who don't know me, I'm a music marketer and an artist manager, right? And I started this YouTube channel to educate you guys on how to be independent artists in the new music business. I want to give you guys all the information you need to for have that leverage where you can decide whether you want to sign a deal or not, right? So here we are, right? This video is about music promotion and how to get yourself heard in the music industry. This is going to be an introductory video for people early on in their career trying to get their stuff together and push the music out there, right? So I don't like to hold up. I don't like to give you guys delays. I don't like to waste any time. Without further ado, let's get right into it. So for step one in this strategy, I'm going to ask you guys a question. Are you killing it with your content right now? If you're not, that needs to change. I'm going to tell you guys why. I know a lot of you have problems with your content, but it is very, very key. One thing that's going to do for you is going to be the first way that you can reach a new audience. So having a lot of content on the internet available to find is going to boost your discoverability. It's going to make it easier for people to discover you, your content, and your music. So these videos, these short form snippets, these pictures, they need to be all over the internet. The next reason is because it's going to start building your social proof. People want to be where other people already are. If people come to your page and see a bunch of people liking, commenting, engaging your stuff, that's going to tell them, oh, this must be good. I'm in the right place. It's going to take time. So the sooner you start, the better. Do not delay stacking your social proof. Also, it's going to be the best way to continue to entertain your existing audience. If you already have people who are listening to your content, who are listening to your music, who are engaged with you, you have to continue to entertain them or their, or their attention, sorry, will go somewhere else. You do not want to lose these people's attention. These are your fans. So keep pushing out content because social media is where your fans are. I know a lot of you guys struggle with content like we talked about before. So I'm going to give you guys some tips on how to kill it and crush it with your content. First things first, do not waste the first five seconds of any video. This is your first touch point with someone and this is your chance to stop them from scrolling away from your video and your music. Do not waste it. Don't waste it with a long introduction. Don't waste it with the boring part of the video. Don't waste it with anything lackadaisical. Also, do not have them confused about what's going to come next. In that first five seconds, let them know what's about to happen and engage them and hook them in and capture their attention, right? Start with what you have. Do this at home. I know some, some of you guys want to be perfectionists and you have that OCD in you where you kind of just want everything to be right in the beginning. I'm here to tell you it is never going to be right in the beginning. Start with what you have. I started my TikTok career sitting on my couch at home and it took me a very long way. So just, just start doing it, right? Also, when it comes to your content, you want to be providing value. You want to be providing entertainment. Give people what they're already looking for. These people are on TikTok, they're on Instagram Reels, they're looking to be entertained. Make sure you are there to entertain them. Don't give them boring content and don't give them stuff that was made personally for you out of vanity trying to show off what you have versus trying to give them what they're looking for from you the next thing be authentic i recommend you to just be authentic as possible because as much as you think everyone else is normal when no one is looking everybody is weird as fuck so put it out there don't worry about it the next tip i'm going to give you guys is about smart links and fan links and the link in your bio so I'm going to ask you another question. Are you using a smart link with analytics in your bio? Do you have access to these analytics? If you don't, you may be making a big mistake. This is why. If you have a smart link in your bio that has analytics, you'll be able to know where everyone is coming from. You'll be able to know how many people who click the link actually listen to the song and a bunch of other stuff that you're going to need to properly market your music, right, and grow as an artist. So when it comes to smart links, my recommendation is going to be Tone Den. I personally use Tone Den for the artists that I work with because it's free to actually 
create a smart link. They have other paid services, but the smart links are free. Another very popular option is going to be Feature FM. Very popular within the industry. You're going to notice a lot of artists have Feature FM links in their bio, a lot of like artists with teams. I know Linktree has analytics. This is not my personal recommendation, but I know a lot of people like Linktree, so I'll put it up there because they do have analytics. What I'm going to do now is zoom over and show you guys the back end of what the analytics actually look like on Tone Den. So let's go check this out right now. So when I'm talking about a smart link or a fan link, this is what I'm talking about. You guys have probably seen them before, most likely. It's just going to be that link that an artist can put in their bio on social media that has links to the different social media plat sorry, the different streaming platforms for their song. So I like using Tone Den a lot. Uh, a lot of people in the industry also use Feature FM, but I recommend Tone Den for you guys because it's free. And they have a lot of good analytics. So, you know, they talk about your click through right here. So that's going to be how many people actually click the link and then clicked again to go into one of the streaming platforms. So this one has 54%. Um, that's above industry average. We have uh, 900 views, 493 click throughs. And down here is a chart of the activity of this link over a certain period of time. So you can choose the time here. You see the activity is getting higher and higher. It tells you how many clicks you got per day. So on uh, January 10th, 2023, you got 42. And then on the twenty, on the sixteenth, we got fifty-five. Right, it shows the most popular platforms. So this is going to be Apple Music for us at this link, and then YouTube, and then last Spotify. It also shows the platforms where people came from. So you know, Facebook, Instagram, top countries and cities, United States, Dallas, um, and it also shows iTunes revenue. So if you have your iTunes link in your um, fan link or your smart link, it shows how many uh, purchases you got. So here we got three purchases and we made 32 bucks that way. And yeah, a lot of a lot of dope insight. This is definitely going to be very key for you guys to to know when you're trying to figure out where your fan base is, where you should be touring, where you should be doing shows, what's working and what's not. So that's why I'm a big fan of Tone Dan. I think you guys should get an account as well. OK, cool. So you got your smart link on and pop and you got your analytics rolling in. The next thing you need to do is focus on how to get more people to hear your music. How are you going to do this? I'm going to start with another question. Have you been focusing on Spotify algorithmic playlists like Discover Weekly and Release Radar? These are ways that Spotify will promote and boost your music for free. All you have to do is prove to Spotify that the song is valuable and it is good and people like it. How do you do this? You're going to track your Spotify popularity score. I'm going to show you how to do that right now. I personally use musicstacks.com to track the Spotify popularity score because it's very simple. If ever musicstacks.com goes down, you can go to Spotify for developers and get it that way. It's a little bit more complicated, so I'm going to stick to music stacks for now, right? So in order to get on release radar like you want to get on, all you have to do is get your popularity score above a 20% within the first four weeks that the song comes out. If you can manage to do that, Spotify will put the song on release radar, show it to a bunch more people, and get you a bunch more streams. Beyond that now, if you can get your record to a 30% popularity score at any time, then you're going to land on Discover Weekly, which is going to be another boost to the song. So you can see why this is very valuable for you. This is like free promotion on the app, and all these streams Spotify is getting you, still you get paid for. So... Definitely something to be focusing on. Do not sleep on algorithmic playlists. The very last thing I want to stress to you guys is you need to treat your fans like your friends. These are people. These are human beings. And you need to, people need to stop looking at fans like someone who was born to serve them. These are people just like you are. And they have feelings. They have families. They have bank accounts. They have everything. So I really want you to stop treating them like, like something like a fan. Treat them like a person, right? So every time you get a comment, I want you to respond to your comment. Every time you get a DM from a fan, I want you to respond to the DM. I want you to pay attention to who's been engaging with a lot of your stuff and DM them and thank them for engaging and for liking your content and listening to your music, right? Your fans are people. They're going to spend money with you. They're going to go to your shows. They're going to spread your, your message through word of mouth. They're going to vouch for you. Some of them are going to become super fans. They might spend thousands of dollars with you throughout your career. So you really need to take full advantage of this and communicate and build these connections, right? 
Start treating your fans like friends. And that's all the tips I got for you in this video. I really hope that they help and that you guys can use them and start growing as artists. If you want to get deeper into my world and my community and figure out how I can help you further, definitely join my community, the Free Artist Era community, where we have a bunch of different creatives, musicians, managers, marketers, A&Rs, producers, singers, rappers, songwriters, and everything, and we connect. I go live in this community once a week, right? And there's also courses available so you can dive deeper in to music marketing and how to grow your fan base. Not to mention some of them are free and included with the court with the community sorry so definitely check those out right like subscribe to the channel tune in for a new video it's another beautiful day with lots of money on the way on the free artist era the game is to be told tenfold so come back for more because we got a lot more on the way